you can apply gain and thresholding to videos in GEM rather easily. To do this, we'll use the Pix Gain and Pix Threshold objects. These objects will go in between the Pix Mix and Pix Texture objects. I've got a patch here that I've been using for a few videos. It's a video mixer between two drive-in movies. And I'll create now Pix Gain. And I'll move the texture and rectangle portion of the render chain down, disconnect it from Pix Mix, and then connect Pix Mix to Pix Gain. Okay, so the first inlet is just an overall gain control, and the second inlet will allow us to adjust gain for specific colors in RGB color space. So what we'll do is create a number box for the first inlet, and I actually mean the middle inlet, because the first inlet is taking in the image to be adjusted. I'll start playing the two videos. Remember that they can be mixed together. And as I adjust the gain upwards, you get this sort of... Um, I. I don't know, maybe an overexposed or nuclear bomb sort of effect. And if I go too far, then you see what happens. So using floats here are um, probably going to be a better strategy. So that's the overall gain. But I could, if I wanted, adjust the gain per color channel. And to do that, I'm going to use the rightmost inlet. Okay, so let me create a message of one and send it to the middle inlet. That'll act as a reset for the gain. And now what I'll do is create a list to send to the rightmost inlet. And the list is going to be the R value, G value, and B value. And these values are expected to be between 0 and 1. So I'll need three number boxes. And I'm going to pack these. But since I want them I want the pack to change if I change any of the number boxes. I'm going to use a Bondo. Bondo 3 and pipe each of the number boxes into the inlet of Bondo. This means that if any of them change, then Bondo will send bangs out and we'll be able to send new lists each time. And not just if the left inlet changes. So we'll connect Bondo to pack. and tidy the space a little bit. Okay, so I'll write some comments here. This is R space, red space. This is green space, and this is blue space. I've got a black and white movie, so maybe that'll help delineate the colors a little better. And then I'll send all of this out to the rightmost inlet. Now I'll change each of them individually. So this is the red space, and then this is the green space, you can kind of see it, and then the blue space. And if I stop holding shift, I can really make it quite dramatic. And then if I fade to the other one, we see that we have a huge difference. Okay, and I'll hit 1 to reset it. Now that's Pix Gain. Pix Gain and Pix Threshold essentially take the same sort of arguments, um, except they, they do slightly different things. So I'll change it to Threshold. Now if I create a number box, and let me move some of these items over. And I'll put it into the middle inlet. That's the overall thresholding. And watch what happens. Actually, I need to go between 0 and 1. So we can see here in the first movie case, the white elements are brought out. So it's kind of cool. It has a really nice effect to it. And then I can fade. Okay. So then I can also threshold individual color bands. So let me bring this back and then We'll see here, it needs to be between 0 and 1, so you'll have to hold shift if you're doing it this way. Or create some sort of maybe H slider that has values between 0 and 1. And you're not going to necessarily see too much of a difference here because it's black and white. But I could essentially use um, a color movie 
to get different sort of thresholding tints. And again, just like the translate XYZ and rotate XYZ, the manipulations are actually quite simple because the video is rendered onto an object. We're just applying the threshold to the object or here to um, the information that's getting applied into RAM before it hits the object. And actually you can do some rather sophisticated things with thresholding. Um, you can pipe in webcam input and check for blobs. That's one thing you can do. Uh, but here we're just sort of getting a kind of gritty feel with the video.